Just watch me break in Good morning you guys, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're doing a little college day in my life. I haven't done one of these in a super long time. I love filming these videos and I feel like I try to film them pretty regularly, but every time I film them, I'm like, wow, I haven't filmed one of these in a long time. So today I'm bringing you guys along for a super fun little day in my life here at the University of Michigan. If you guys are new, hi, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Charlotte. I am a senior at the University of Michigan and I post a lot of college lifestyle and productivity content here on YouTube. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below, join the family. We just passed 20,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I cannot believe how fast the channel is growing. So big shout out to you guys. I am dressed and ready for the gym. Today for me is a Monday, which is one of the days that my classes start a little bit later. So I like to head down to the gym and either do like a little Pilates workout or get a little hot girl walk in, just like move my body a little bit to start the day. So I'm going to head downstairs to the gym and get my little workout in for the day, but I'm so excited to bring you guys along for my day today. Welcome to the vlog. Let's go have a great workout. Okay, we are back from the gym. I made myself a little bagel and I'm doing some readings that I have for my class today. I have three classes today and then potentially a meeting later on tonight, but I'm like working with my group we might change the meeting, so the meeting might not happen. <laughs> but three classes today, my first one is from 11 to 12, and then I have this big, big break in between my first class and my other two classes. My second two are back-to-back, -back, starting four o'clock to 5.30, and then 5.30 to seven. If you've been around for a while, you know that I don't love my schedule this semester. It kind of was a hodgepodge, but we're doing what we can, it's fine. <laughs> we're working with what we have. So it's 9.45 right now, I am going to eat my little baby and do my readings for my first class then I have a little like quiz on the readings just like reading comprehension kind of thing that I need to take but then once I'm done with that we will get ready for the day and kickstart this little day of my life up my little quiz and before I got dressed and ready for the day I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the sponsor of today's video Princess Polly I have wanted to work with Princess Polly for so long so I am so excited to tell you guys more about them they sent me a bunch of their different items to try on and show you guys so I'm really excited to pick out a little outfit from the clothes that they sent me today also you guys know I love fast shipping y'all know that sometimes I struggle with package deliveries here at this apartment for whatever reason, but Princess Polly has a really awesome shipping policy, which I really, really appreciate. All of their products ship from within the US, and as a bonus, orders over $50 ship free for standard shipping, which is about three to six days, which is such a steal. And Princess Polly offers afterpay and shop pay to all of their US customers, so you can order as many pieces as you want and pay over time. So let me show you guys some of the pieces that I'm kind of deciding between wearing today. There are so many, y'all. I don't know how I'm gonna pick because there are so many cute ones. But we're definitely going with like a spring, winter, transitional sort of vibe. So I tried to get a lot of pieces that I can wear now when it's like frigid and freezing cold, but they'll also work really well as it warms up and as we're getting closer to spring hopefully. <laughs> first things first, we've got this really pretty like oatmeal kind of creamy colored sweater. You guys, this sweater is so comfy, so soft. It's cropped just like the teeny tiniest bit, so it's perfect to wear with high-rise leggings or high-waisted jeans. And obviously the color, I mean, 
hello okay speaking of beautifully colored sweaters next up we have this beautiful baby blue sweater again very soft very comfortable this one is also a ribbed fabric so it's really stretchy which makes it extra comfortable and what I love about this sweater is that it has drawstrings on the sides so you can scrunch it up a little bit if it's maybe a little bit warmer if you wanted to go for more of like a cropped look I just feel like this sweater is so me like it's so cute Okay, next up we have a skirt. Y'all know I love my skirts. This is this fun little leather skirt. I think this is so cute. I've actually never had a leather skirt before, but this one is so cute and it fits me like a glove. It's the perfect length too where I can wear it you know, day to day and not have to worry about it riding up or anything. And it has this fun little slit detail on the side to give it a little extra flair. Okay, next up we have another one of my favorites. I feel like I say that about every piece, but they're honestly like, they're all such high quality. Like I'm so obsessed with all of them. So they're honestly all kind of my favorites. But next up we have this cream sweater vest. You guys know I am so deep into my sweater vest era right now. I think they're so cute, so trendy. I feel like layering is definitely the way to go, especially in the winter when it's a little bit harder to be warm and look cute at the same time. So this sweater vest is like chef's kiss. It's so soft, so comfy, very stretchy. You guys know the deal. Princess Polly delivers on their sweaters. Okay, so clearly I've got quite a decision to make for what I'm going to be wearing today, but no matter what I end up wearing, I know for sure I'm going to need a jacket on top, which is perfect because I have this new puffer. I've actually never had a puffer jacket before. I have my like long winter coat, but it's not like trendy. It's not a puffer jacket, you know? So when I got this in the mail, I was so excited. And you guys, it's so cute. It's the perfect length. It's like a little bit cropped. So again, it's perfect kind of to transition into the spring as the weather gets warmer. It's also a little oversized, which I really love, especially for right now in the winter when it's cold, I can wear like a chunky sweater or or a, like a sweatshirt or something and it'll still fit under the puffer which is really nice you guys know it gets really cold here in Michigan so I appreciate a nice warm jacket that I can wear anything under so no matter what sweater I end up wearing today I will be wearing this puffer on top and it's gonna keep me nice and toasty warm so I'm gonna pick out my little outfit out of all of these different pieces and I will be right back to show you guys the finished fit Okay, here is the full outfit that we put together. I think it is so cute. You guys know I don't usually wear like loungewear when I go to class. I try to like dress up a little bit because it just makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm going somewhere exciting. So I love this little outfit. It makes it feel like, oh, I'm going to like an important meeting or something. And then obviously on top, I'm going to throw on this cropped black puffer that I showed you guys. So if you guys want to check out Princess Polly for yourself, I highly recommend them. I will link their website down in the description below. And I also have a discount code to share with you guys. So if you use the code 20 Charlotte, you can get 20% off your order at Princess Polly. I will put all of the information on screen as well as down in the description down below. Obviously, I'm so excited to be working with Princess Polly. Another huge shout out and thank you to them for sending me these amazing clothes and partnering with me on this video. But now that we are all dressed and ready, it is time for me to head out to my first class of the day. This class goes from 11 to 12 and then like I mentioned earlier I've got a really big break in between. I don't have class again until 4. So I am going to head out to class and then I think I'm going to come back here in between my classes. I have a lot of work that I need to get done that I'll explain when I get back but I am I'm a little bit overwhelmed with the work I need to do today. So hopefully it's gonna be a very busy and productive day in my life today. So let's kick it off by heading to campus for my first class of the day. Welcome home, gang. I am feeling stressed. 
I feel like that's just the theme of this semester for me. Like, I think I just kind of need to accept that that's where we're at right now. I had my first class of the day. It was just overwhelming. Like, I'm just feeling very overwhelmed. The professor was trying to be inspiring and trying to be motivational, and he ended up just kind of scaring me out of me he was trying to inspire us to start investing early and like get ready for retirement but it kind of came across as like you're mishandling your money and um every every step you make is wrong and i'm sure that's not what he meant to do but like that's what happened <laughs> so i'm just feeling kind of like off balance a little bit unsteady right now it's 125 i've been back for a while i've been doing some work for this group project the entire class is a group project which is also stressful i have a lot of group projects this semester anyway i am in charge of you guessed it social media for this group project so we started a hot girls walk account and we're going to be organizing like hot girls walks here in ann arbor so if you're in ann arbor please come. If you're not in Ann Arbor, um, please just go follow the Instagram. I'll link it down in the description below. I'd really appreciate any support that you guys can lend to that because we need to get a pretty significant following by the end of the semester to like do pretty well in this class. And um, I'd like to do well in this class. Anyway, that is just stressing me out. That was what I was planning. I had like the meeting that I think I talked to you guys about earlier in the video. I was like, I might have a meeting late tonight. That got moved to Wednesday, so. We're chilling on that front all as well. But I still have a couple of readings that I need to do for my two other classes that I have today. So I think what I'm gonna do is make a little to-do list, kind of try to like organize my thoughts, prioritize the things that I need to do. And then I think I'm going to get out of my room. There's a nice little study space lounge area down a couple floors in my apartment building that I think I'm going to head to. Usually I'm the only one in there when I go, so I think it should be okay. But I think I'm gonna head down there just so I can be more productive. You guys know, y'all know. I really have a hard time doing like important work or like focusing for a really long time when I'm here in my own room. So I think that's my plan. I think I'm gonna head downstairs, do the immediate work that I need to do for my next two classes, which is just some reading. If I do finish my work early, I would come back up here. I have a couple like less pressing things that I'm kind of thinking about, like big girl job applications, that sort of thing. So that's the little rundown. That is kind of the plan. We are going to make my little to-do list. Hopefully that'll calm me down, put everything in perspective, head downstairs, get some work done and go from there. done with my readings. There's a fridge behind me that is being so obnoxiously loud, so I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me. <laughs> but I'm done with my readings. It is 3.20, so I have about 25 minutes-ish, a little bit longer, before I need to leave for class. And I'm starving, so I'm going to go upstairs, back up to my apartment, and grab some lunch. I do feel better. I definitely like, I tend to get stressed when I feel like I have a lot on my plate and I feel like I'm not getting everything done. I also tend to feel stressed when I'm not the only person in control of a situation. Like if I need to rely on somebody else to like get an assignment done, that really stresses me out. So I've got two things right now. I've got this big group project that I'm working on that's causing me a little bit of stress and then I also have this assignment where I need to interview somebody and I reached out to this person that I want to interview like earlier in the day and am incredibly impatient so I've been like checking my email to see if she's emailed me back yet that's making me nervous because I'm like what if she doesn't respond in time and then 
I can't do my assignment. I need to relax, like I have a backup plan. If, if I need one, I formulated a backup plan sitting here now. So anyway, I am going to head back upstairs and chow down. Last night I made little tacos, so I'm just going to reheat those leftovers. Nothing like eating lunch at 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, I got my little tacos. I can't like show you without them sliding off the plate, but I got my little tacos. These are leftovers from HelloFresh. I made these last night. I did decide to cancel HelloFresh. This isn't sponsored, obviously, but I did decide to cancel my HelloFresh subscription. The recipes were super, super yummy. I'm like low-key sad. It's a good option. Maybe for just someday in the future, just not right now, you know? So I'm going to chow down on these little tacos right before I head off to class. I have about 20 minutes before I need to leave. I'm going to try to edit a TikTok really quickly and get that posted. I did already post on my Instagram, but like we'll do a double post. Who cares? Because I'm really trying to get back in the habit of like my Monday, Wednesday, Friday posts. Because why not put even more on my plate right now? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> for you now you got two minutes of my time and i don't really break too easily but i'm worth it cause i'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all okay we are home I'm done with classes for the day. I changed immediately into my little comfy clothes. I have two things left that I need to do today. I need to do the homework for my 8.30 a.m. class tomorrow. The last like two weeks, I've really been slacking off on doing the readings for that class and I know I should be doing them and I, I want to. I've just been like feeling behind. So I'm gonna force myself to do the readings for that class tonight rather than trying to like wake up and do them early tomorrow morning, which has been my plan the last couple of days, like couple of times we've had that class and like who could have predicted that that wouldn't work that i'm not going to be able to wake up early enough and comprehend information from a reading before 8 30 a.m i could have predicted that so that is one thing that i need to do is do the readings for that class it's in a physical book which um i haven't had in a while this it's like a physical book and it's not a textbook pray in a god that it's interesting the second thing i need to do is cook dinner i actually filmed an entire like cooking with charlotte segment for the week in my life that went up that was like one of my last vlogs that went up like last week i filmed an entire segment where i cooked dinner and like did a taste test on camera and it was gonna just make the vlog so long so i cut the whole thing so we're just gonna do another one in this video and hopefully it makes the vlog <laughs> i used to be so good at predicting how long my videos were gonna be based on how much i filmed i would know i'd be like oh i filmed x y and z amount earlier today so my video is gonna be 16 minutes long nowadays i just i have no idea i'm like oh i feel like i haven't filmed anything and then i go to edit and the video is like 40 minutes long for a week in my life i'm like this is obscene so i've really lost my ability to interpret how long my videos are gonna be i don't know where that ability went i probably lost it during vlogmas honestly that makes a lot of sense so hopefully this segment makes the vlog just watch me break in mine all things considered i think it came out pretty well this is onion crunch chicken with mashed sweet potatoes roasted broccoli and honey dijon dressing and we're gonna do a taste test as a team broccoli cheers salty crispy just the way i like it sweet potato mash which i'm usually not a fan of so maybe this is gonna be a turning point for me it tastes really good it's just the texture as i'm not I'm not super wild about it. And then the moment of truth, the chicken is cooked all the way on the inside, which is always exciting. Cheers. Okay, yeah. 
10 out of 10. I'm about to chow down. Thanks for watching this episode of chefing with Charlotte. Okay, we are done with dinner. It's a lot later. I definitely tend to eat dinner on the later side, but y'all know I get out of class at 7 p.m. So like it's bound to be later at night when I'm eating dinner. It was delicious though. But the only thing that I have left to do tonight is do my readings for class tomorrow. So I am gonna go lay in bed and do those readings and hopefully I don't fall asleep. But that is gonna be it for this college day in my life. Thank you guys so, so much for coming along with me. Another huge shout out and thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. It was so exciting to work with them. I got so many compliments on my outfit today. Don't forget, I've got a link in the description and a discount code that I will put up on screen again here. It'll also be down in the description down below. But that's it for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. So better stands this Bye, night guys. away.